If you're looking for the best bass guitar for beginners, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Sterling by Music Man SUB. Series Rafer. Music Man bass guitars have always been an authority in top tier segment of the market. Aside from their impressive performance and quality, Music Man instruments are also known for their pretty exclusive price. Sterling is a company that has a relationship with Music Man which is similar to that between Square and Fender. Sterling by Music Man SUB. Series Rafer is an affordable version of the original Sting Ray series, and the sound you get is one of the better in its respective segment. The tone is hard-hitting and rich in terms of output power. As a beginner's bass guitar, you can count on Sterling by Music Man SUB. Series Rafer to meet all of your requirements as you progress from beginner to advanced player. Even then, you will hardly find it to be limiting. While it is a bit more expensive, Sterling by Music Man SUB. Series Rafer is worth the investment. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Yamaha 4-string bass guitar. The TRB Zone 174 sits at the lower end of Yamaha's popular TRBX bass series, but this makes it the perfect prospect for beginners. The bass has a unique look thanks to an attractive layer of exotic mango wood on the top. The bulk of the body is made from mahogany, which is quite light and well countered for a comfortable feel whether standing or sitting. There's an easy playing bolt on maple neck with a rosewood fretboard and a full 24 frets. As we mentioned in our full review of the TRB Zone 174, it features both a split precision style single coil and a jazz style single coil, with tone and volume controls, for good versatility. For a mass produced bass, it is certainly punching above its weight when it comes to craftsmanship. The number 3 position is held by Ibanez 4 string bass guitar. This is one of their short scale models which have swept the market like a force fire. In many ways, this bass is very similar to their GSR 200 model, only it comes with a shorter neck. What are the benefits of such design? Well, first and foremost, it's much easier to play, both for beginners and those who have smaller hands. While it might feel like you're losing something by having a few inches cut off from the scale, the fact is that the difference is marginal at best. Build quality is more than decent, sporting a nice combination of a Gathis body and a standard maple neck. Hardware is solid and holds the tuning just fine, while the pickups give you a decent range of tones to play with. Next at number 4 we have Davison Full-Size Electric Bass Starter Pack. We did have to take a bit of time to decide whether we were ruining the integrity of this list by adding such a cheap bass, but after spending some time with this pack, there was no way we could leave it off. This very wallet-friendly starter pack includes everything you need to get up and running on bass, including a small amplifier, a strap, a lead and a soft gig bag. Of course, taking center stage is the bass itself which is very basic but performs well and gives beginners a good platform on which to learn. It features one split coil pickup and simple controls, while the amp is also easy to get to grips with. The number 5 position is held by Square Vintage Modified Jaguar Bass Special SS. Beginners with small hands will feel at home with this vintage modified Jaguar from Square, which has an easier to play 30 scale life. With three colors to choose from, this model sports the classic Jaguar body, made from Agathas, with a bolt on maple neck, 20 frets, and a rosewood fretboard. The pickups are nothing special and aren't as powerful as you may expect, but certainly do the job, especially at this affordable price range. There's a split single coil precision bass pickup at the middle position, with a single coil jazz bass pickup at the bridge, controlled by two volume knobs and a master tone control. The number 6 position is dominated by Fender Standard Jazz Electric Bass. The first thing that you've noticed is definitely the price, so let's talk about that. I know that the majority of beginners don't plan to spend more than $600 on their first guitar, however, you should look at the whole picture. This is the Fender. Not its copy, like the Square, but the actual Fender. The truth is that the price of $625 for a Fender is actually very generous. How come that the price is so low? Well, this guitar is also known as the Min Jazz Bass, which means made in Mexico. This is the main reason for its low price it is built in Mexico. The bass sounds amazing, practically as the Fender built in America. Its pickups and controls work great, so you can shape your tone in various ways. You can get that full and muddy sound and also that Jaco Pastorius-like high and sharp sound. 
Moving on to the next at number 7 with Fender Mustang PJ. So, as I mentioned, this bass has shorter scale than the regular bass guitar, which is 34 inches. This Mustang has 30 inches scale and the micro bass at the beginning of our list has 28, 6 inches scale. Just to make a comparison, this is why I think this is a great bass guitar for beginners it is somewhere in between the micro and the regular size bass, so it is a perfect way to start. Also, this is the excellent choice for guitar players who also play bass. Great thing is that it has a three-way toggle, so you can activate each one of the magnets or both of them at the same time. This gives you a whole variety of sound that you can play with. The number 8 position is held by Dean Custom's own bass. This bass guitar is probably the most interestingly looking guitar ever its fretboard has the same finish as the body. And not just any finish but fluorescent pink, green, and yellow. Whatever color of these you choose, one thing is certain your bass guitar will be noticed. Although it looks like spacecraft, it is actually very simple. It has just one pickup and two knobs, one for master volume and the other one for master tone control. It is very light, around 8 pounds and has a fairly comfortable neck. The sound is also very decent. Of course, you can't expect too much for this amount of money, but it is more than good enough for beginner's purpose. The only major problem is that I had to do a quick setup. You can play it straight out of the box, but there are smaller issues considering its action, which could be lower end in the nation. So, the best idea is to find some experienced bass player to do a setup for you. If not, you can always pay for it, you won't need a lot of money for it. Next at number 9 we have Square Affinity Jazz Bass. This model comes in 4 colors, black, brown sunburst, red, and silver. The cool thing with jazz bass guitar is that it allows you a little more variation of the sound than the regular bass guitar. This is because this kind of bass has a lot of bright tones that can be combined with the low ones. A lot of famous bassists use jazz bass guitars precisely for this reason. This guitar has a solid, vintage tone, although its output is not very strong. Of course, it doesn't sound like the original Fender, after all, it costs $200. But you can get pretty close to it. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Square by Fender Vintage SS Modified Special Jaguar Bass. A lot of beginners share the same problem they want to play the bass but it is just too robust and too big instrument for them. This is why a lot of these wannabe bass players start with the guitar and later on try to switch to bass. Fortunately, there is a solution. Good news for young players and people with small hands is that this square has a 30 scale instead of a regular 34. As you have probably assumed, the SS stands for short scale. That's all for today. We upload music product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.